I took this 50s, 60s scooter and I cut it in half and I'm about to adapt a electric dirt bike rear end and a bicycle top end to it. So let's get straight into it. I have this top portion from a bicycle top end and I decided to put it on top of here felt like it would match the look of this thing and I really do like the way it's going to turn out and here's the four batteries it's going to be right there and they're going to make a little box for it as well. So this is the point where I'm at. Basically, this is the MX350 rear end scooter, the 50 scooter, and then you have a bicycle top end here, which you can fit two people, one here and one here. I'm planning on putting a mini bike seat, but this ATV seat just fits so good there. Not too sure yet, so I'll figure it out. For testing purposes, I think I'm gonna run this seat, and then yeah. So now I'm gonna hook up all the batteries, uh, hook up the battery tie down, uh, hook up all the wiring, the controller, everything, and go for a test run. Let me just hook up everything off camera. Three, two, one, and... I took it out and I'm about to test it out real quick. Whoa, this thing's fast. 
A lot faster than the MX-350 for sure. Definitely more acceleration. Okay, so that's gonna be rough for today's video. This thing went fast. Did like wheelies right away. I was surprised. You hit the throttle, it went up. I could hold it for like 10 50 second wheelie and go back down. It's pretty fun. Peppy top speed is around. I'll say if I put the three speed switch about 30 miles an hour the way it is, uh, only went about 25. Uh, I need to, you know, finish it up. Wiring is literally everywhere, but. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till the next video. This thing came out insane. I do like the way this came out and this bike uh, part, I really do like that. So in the next video, finish it all up, continue it, and probably even paint it, we'll see. And a proper test rip. But till then, I'll have to catch you in the next video. Peace and God bless.